Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Suji Nyanga and on this channel you'll find videos related to self-love, feminine and mental health. Today's video is a bit of a new one. I haven't done a skincare video in forever and I recently decided to try out the ordinary products. To me, this is my first time using the line completely and I just wanted to share with you the products that I have, how I use them and what I overall think about them. So if you want to see more and also the products that I got, stay tuned, continue watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click onto the subscribe button so you can see more videos from me onto your channel if you would like to. And if you would like as well, no, you shouldn't like as well. You have to go and like this video already. If you do that, I really appreciate you and Thank you so much. Continue watching and you will see all the products I got in, how I use them and my total overall review. So before showing you what my skin looks like and telling you about the products that I got, I have actually here my book that I wrote down all my notes on because I don't want to say something or miss something that I would like to say about a product. So I'm just going to show you the products that I have here in front of me, what I've been using. So the first thing I really wanted to get from The Ordinary, because I heard so much about it, was the glycolic acid, 7%. And this is a toning solution. You'll see me also unboxing this and showing you the packaging that it comes in. But this is what it looks like. It has this turnable applicator that you could open like that and you can just close it like this so you can make sure that it doesn't leak, which is quite convenient. You're also going to see here the packaging that I take it out from and what I first got and what all it comes with. And this glycolic acid is actually an exfoliating toning solution. It's a mild exfoliant which helps with the radiance and visibility and clarity of the skin. This should help with improving your skin texture. So it's really great if you actually want to start to have your skin smoothing out if you had a lot of blemishes or pimples in the past. It will, as I mentioned, help to improve the skin texture if you use it consistently and over time. I should let you in on a secret. I actually use this every day I think morning and night when I first got it however you should only be using it one time daily but my skin did not react to this and I should say that I actually feel that this was one of the main reasons why my skin also kind of improved so if you're using this just don't be like me you have to use it one time a day not twice and the way that I use this is I just apply this onto a cotton pad I make sure that it's quite damp enough wash my face first, I let it dry or towel dry it, then I apply this onto a cotton pad and I clean over my face just like you would with any other toning solution. This is really good. I really enjoy the glycolic acid. However, I should say I feel that because I used it twice daily, um, my face did get a bit sensitive in some areas, especially like in my chin area. It's kind of like one of my most driest spots. So I think this for sure made it very dry. Um, another reason why I got this as well was because I saw on TikTok, <laughs> you know TikTok, it's taking your ass with all these hacks. I saw on TikTok that you could actually use this as a solution to kind of lighten your armpits. Um, maybe if you're also like a dark skin girl or a dark skin person, our bits, like those parts, are a bit darker than everyone else's. And what I've realized is that I've I've been quite self-conscious in the past about my armpits because it just doesn't look as smooth and as light as all the other parts of my body. I was hoping that this would help and so far, I don't know if I would say that this has been helping. Maybe I haven't been using it as I should to really try to have it. Um, remove the darkness but so far from using the toning solution I think it just helps to tone the armpit area which is quite good because you know you need to also take care of that area as well hopefully after a few months of using it I might see some kind of improvements in the area but so far I'm impressed with this I do like the toning solution so this alpha hydroxy acid which is an AHH an AHA is a small molecular size which makes it powerful and it's able to deeply penetrate the skin, breaking bonds between dead skin cells and helping the skin layer to resurface. So that's what this actually does, this glycolic acid. It helps to take away and remove all build up or dead skin that has been just sitting on the skin for a long time. And I can really see it when I 
clean my skin. I think in one of my clips, you'll also see the color or the dead skin that comes off on the cotton pad, which is quite amazing. After I use the glycolic toning solution, I use the hyaluronic acid and it's this little one. It's the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 is the one that I've been using. And this one acts as a hydration support to the skin which helps to build back in the hydration into your skin and allow it to feel very dewy and hydrated, which is needed. It's an intense hydrator and it helps to smooth and plump the skin. And I really can see that this does that. Since when I've been starting to use it, I can really see the difference. I can see that my skin gets very dewy and very bright. It looks very hydrated when I use this. And this hyaluronic acid is actually acts as an anti-aging product. It enhances the healing process and it makes it go a bit faster so it allows the skin to really heal itself. It helps to restore the skin's natural hydration, which I mentioned before, my skin looks very hydrated when I use this. And along with that, what it does as well is balance whilst repairing damaged skin tissues and that I can also see. While doing all of that, it also assists with pulling moisture back into the skin. So this hyaluronic acid which is 2% plus the B5 has been amazing on my skin. I went for it because I really realized that I do need some moisture back into my skin. The water here in Holland can be so harsh. So having that and then really feeling my skin come back to life after all the life has been sucked out of it is amazing. And I should also mention that I do kind of have combination skin, I think now. Before I had very oily skin, but since I went on Roaccutane a few years ago, my skin has changed and it's now a lot more relaxed and not as active as it used to be. So my skin like in the T-zone gets quite oily now and then and in my uh, chin area, it can be very dry. But I think it's mainly also to do with the water here in Holland that my skin has gotten a lot drier. Also on my back, my skin can be super dry, but it's because the water here is just so harsh that my skin is you know needing a lot more love and a lot more moisture compared to when i'm on the island or when i go back home my skin is so good like i can go and shower and just shower and my skin just feels good because the water is so nourishing a lot more gentle on the skin the next product that i got was this niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent i got this one and again i didn't show you the other one before but most of the ordinary products that come in these bottles have like this applicator um, you'll also see me use it in a video a bit more close up of the product itself. And this is actually a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula, which is an active form of vitamin B. It's an antioxidant, it fades hyperpigmentation, decreases the look of also hyperpigmentation, and reduces the fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps with reducing pores. If you struggle from having maybe some bigger pores in different parts of your face, this will or this has been said to assist with removing and decreasing and minimizing those pores while also balancing the skin and controlling oil production so if you do struggle with having a lot of oily skin like i mentioned i do i think this would be a great option to put into your skincare routine because it might help you balance the skin production the, the oil not skin production the oil production you have in your skin this is why i got this product to just see if it would also help with reducing fine lines i'm starting to get a bit old and i can see that i'm getting like you know those smile lines so i don't know if it's going to help but if it might help a little why not give it a try and the next thing i got was this 100 percent plant derived squalene it seems to be a product that everyone should have in their skincare routine or in their skincare collection squalene i think i'm pronouncing it right squalene is produced by the skin and it's a more stable part of squalene and the squalene that we have from the ordinary is actually derived from a plant it's plant-based and it's a natural thing that's produced by the skin and it's a stable ingredient, which means that it can be moved and used with other products or below other products. It's said that if you use squalene, the squalene that is actually produced by the skin will decline. Squalene is great because it helps to plump the skin and give it a bit more body. It helps to soften wrinkles and fine lines and it gives you a very beautiful gradient glow. Squalene is a hydrator and an emollient, which just means it's a moisturizer, so it hydrates and moisturizes the skin, which is great. 
I actually use squalene once a night when I'm going to bed and I find that that way it can then help all the moisture and all the hydration that my skin might need while I'm going to sleep just for it to really soak into the skin. In all the squalene I would say is quite oily. This is much more of a product that you would like to put on in the nighttime or if you're not wearing makeup in the daytime. One last product that I got is the Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. The Salicylic Mask 2% is actually enriched and infused with charcoal and clay and it helps remove dead skin cells to relieve and reveal radiant skin. This mask, I believe it's also only said to use once or twice weekly. So that's what I've been doing so far with it. It comes in this little tube that you can squeeze and it looks like your normal, ordinary, um, yeah, clay mask. So it's black, the color of it. I have a video also that you'll see here of me putting it on and how it looks like. I thought, why not give this clay mask a try to see also how it would feel on my skin. And so far, I should say that all the ordinary products that I've been using, all the things that I've tried have went really well with my skin. I did introduce them all to my skin at one time, but again, I listened to my body and I checked to see how I was feeling while using everything. The only thing that went a bit incorrect was the glycolic acid and me using that every day, twice daily. Um, but other than that, my skin has been doing well. I really, okay, I'm looking in the mirror here and I'm really loving the texture my skin has lately. I find it's gotten to be a lot more smooth after using the products. I think it really is a combination of products that I got in. I looked at a lot of videos online. I did a lot of research before using them and also writing down in my book to see exactly what the benefits were, if they were actually something that I wanted to have included into my skin routine so if you are looking to actually use ordinary products i would say look into the ingredients see what you actually have at the moment and see how you maybe can combine the products into your routine or into the things that you actually currently use the prices of each product is very affordable for one and this is like the size of it for one product is around nine euros i believe here in holland at douglas you can for sure say that this is quite an affordable skincare line that is attainable and affordable for everyone to have and to at least try one time I think but overall as I mentioned again I'm loving the product so far I'm really going to come back after a month I think and show you what my skin looks like and maybe give you my full morning and night routine with these products so that you can see them also in action the videos I filmed in this video were just of the first time of me using them and it was also with the ring lights and it might be a bit harsh, but I think you get the gist of how my skin looks and the products that I use and how I use them. Definitely subscribe to my channel and go ahead, give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've used any of the ordinary products, which one or ones you've loved and you are continuing using, or if you had any issues also, let me know which ones you did use and you had some struggles with or you would never use again, or you would never, also recommend to anyone else let me know in the comment section down below and if you did like this video again go ahead and give it a thumbs up thumbs up go ahead and like the video thank you for liking it already i really appreciate that of you and i'll see you in my next video until the next one bye